Hi, I'm Trish. Today I want to talk about vitamins, vitamins, minerals, supplements, because uh, I see a lot of people saying things like, um, oh, I don't know if I need to take vitamins or not, so I'll just, I'll just take double because surely that's got to be better for me. No, too much vitamins can be a bad thing. It can actually be a very dangerous thing, especially things like um, iron. Um, overdosing on iron can be extremely bad. And then what I more often see is people saying, and these are people who have had weight loss surgery, that they don't take vitamins at all. Oh, you know, I know I'm supposed to take vitamins, but I don't. Now, I'm not saying everyone run out and get yourself some vitamins. This is something you need to talk to your GP about, your surgeon, your dietitian, your pharmacist. Um, there's no point in taking vitamins and minerals if you don't need them and it can be harmful if you take them when you don't need them. By the same token, if you are on a, um, if, you're, if you're eating a lot less food than what you um, should be eating, that is like when you've had weight loss surgery and you can only fit in very limited calories, you, there's, there's no way you can get in everything that you need to keep your body healthy. So most, most, almost all people with some form of weight loss surgery do need um, at least a multivitamin. So uh, having said that, get your vitamin levels checked and, and you know they can't check all of your vitamin levels but if you talk to your GP say I've had weight loss surgery, can you check whatever vitamin levels you can and let me know what I need to take. As an example for me, I've been low in iron for eight years. Um, ever since I had my gallbladder out and I, I have so much trouble getting my iron levels up so I take iron, that's just par for the course for me. The uh, last lot of blood tests that my surgeon did and then just incidentally didn't even give me the results for, my, my vitamin D was high. Um, now that's probably happened because like years ago my, my GP tested my, um, my vitamin D levels and they were quite low. So she said for me, just as a matter of course, to take vitamin D for the, you know, the, like the cooler winter months. So I think I was supposed to start it, you know, like at the beginning of March and then take it six months and then over the warmer months not take it. So I was doing that. Now because when I had my blood tests done through the hospital and my vitamin D levels were high and no one told me, I still kept taking my vitamin D until I actually got copies of my hospital records and saw it and told my GP and she said, oh, stop taking the vitamin D and don't take the vitamin D again until we get your levels checked. I have been nagging at my GP um, regarding calcium supplementation. I'm, I'm terrified that my calcium is too low because I, I, I just don't get enough dairy into my body. Um, I'd, I'd be lucky if I got 30% of my daily needs of calcium in and apparently there's no blood test you can do that will show your calcium levels. Um, it's not until you actually get osteoporosis and you start breaking bones and then they go oh yeah you're probably low in calcium but by then it's too late it's not reversible. So um, a couple of months ago I guess I, I spoke to my, my doctor about my nails. My nails were very just just so brittle and flaking and they had white spots and I, I just couldn't grow them and I mean look at them now, they're, they're, they're already stronger. So she said, she took one look and she said start taking calcium. So I have been and um, the blood tests also showed that I'm low in zinc so I have to take zinc now. Now also if you do, if your doctor does say you know take iron or calcium or you know, whatever, um, have a look at all of them. As an example my iron also has, where is it, it is written on here, it's also got vitamin B complex and zinc in here as well. There's vitamin B complex and zinc in here and calcium, there's calcium here, there's magnesium in this, this is my other magnesium that also has B complex and manganese in it. Um, and I think the Zinc Plus also has, that's also got manganese in it and vitamin B6. So just because it says zinc or magnesium or whatever, read the, in, the ingredients and see what else is in it. I've got to be really careful to find a balance that I don't 
like double up and, and take you know, too much zinc or too much manganese or too much vitamin B. Um, vitamin B is one of the water soluble vitamins so the general rule is you can't really take too much of it because whatever your body doesn't use you just wee out but it is possible to, um, to, get, to build up too much vitamin B6 in your body over time. So another thing you need to consider once you've been told by a medical professional that you do need to take whatever supplements. Um, I've, I've done a lot of research and spoken to Dr. Google quite a bit. Um, Dr. Google tells a different story to what my GP says and I've spoken to a couple of pharmacists. They tell a different story as well. Um, what I've read, I, I take my vitamins sort of like spaced out over the day. As soon as I wake up I take my iron tablet with my Barocca because the Barocca's got vitamin C in it and vitamin C helps you to absorb iron and then I go and have a shower and get dressed and everything and then I have my zinc tablet and then I fluff around for a little bit longer and then I have my coffee and then later in the day or later in the day when I go to bed I take my magnesium and my calcium together because they um, you're, you're supposed to take them together because they one of them makes the other one absorb better and I can't remember which one it is. Um, so that's what I was asking the the pharmacist about or the, the, the pharmacists that I spoke to and my GP because everything I've read online says you can't take iron and zinc together because the iron interferes with the absorption of the zinc. That's why I take them separately. The GP and the pharmacist said that that's bullshit. My body absorbs iron so very, very poorly. I'm going to do everything I possibly can to try to help that, although it's probably, I'm probably going to absorb the iron just as well, whether I take zinc with it or not. But also with the zinc, because my zinc is low, I don't want to um, not absorb that properly. So I'm going to continue to do it this way, at least until I get my blood test done and see what my levels are like. I might not even need to continue taking zinc. I've also read things that say you shouldn't have caffeine with zinc or iron because it, um, it makes you absorb less of them as well. So that's why I leave my coffee till a little bit later. I've also read that um, I have, I've, I've heard different things. One person told me that you should have iron with food because it helps you to absorb the iron better. Someone else said to me, have iron on an empty stomach because it helps you to absorb it better. Um, I think everyone in the universe knows that if you have vitamin C with your iron, it helps you to absorb it better as well. So I'm going to try to start having... Well, that's why I have the Barocca with the iron because it's got the vitamin C in it. Now, um, also with the calcium, there's two main kinds of calcium. This one that I'm taking is the calcium carbonate, which I take at night with my magnesium, I didn't realise that you need to have something, you need to have some food in your tummy to take the calcium carbonate because you need those stomach acids to absorb the calcium. So I've been going to bed at night, you know, like 10, 11, midnight, when I don't like to eat and I've just been having like three or four prunes just to have something in my tummy to, you know, help absorb this calcium. Um, plus the prunes aren't going to hurt because the, um, the iron makes me quite constipated as well. What I have found out is this is calcium carbonate. I need food in my tummy to help me absorb it. Next time I get calcium, I will be getting the calcium citrate. I don't need to have food in my tummy to make that work. And one of the pharmacists, pardon me, told me that the calcium citrate is much better absorbed by the body. Um, and it does concern me taking calcium because Yes, I'm pretty sure I do need it because um, I, I just don't get enough calcium in my diet at the moment. But it can also, um, I've, I've read a lot of stuff about it affecting your heart. So it's, it's a bit of a trade-off. But if the citrate is absorbed better, I'll, I'll get that next time as soon as I finish this lot. Um, and I think that's all I had to tell you about vitamins and minerals and supplementation. Oh! These, I know it doesn't say Barocca, but this is the Aldi brand of the Barocca's. If you buy Barocca's, like Barocca brand Barocca's, it's going to cost you around about $10 for 15 tablets. So we'll say $10 for two weeks supply. 
This Aldi brand is only $5 and today in the supermarket in Woolies I discovered they've got like a home brand version or you know like a Woolies select version for $5 as well and I checked all the um, all the ingredients it's exactly the same so I'll be um, switching over to that because I hate Aldi and I think and I just buy Synovus someone has had a go at me telling me that it's a waste of time taking the you know the cheap magnesium in this form but and the reason I take the, the, the magnesium is it helps me to relax, helps me to sleep, and um, if I don't take it, I get very bad leg cramps. So when I take this magnesium, I don't get the leg cramps. So it's working well enough for me. I take this iron, it's a fab iron. It's got a bit of zinc and a bit of um, B complex in it as well. I take this one because I'm, I'm very, very sensitive to iron supplements, and, and trust me when I say I have tried every single iron supplement on the market I have also tried every single laxative there is on the market because it makes me very, very constipated. This one, oh, and also when I take the other iron supplements, my, my iron levels don't really go up very much. This one gets my iron levels up very, very slowly, but it does help and it doesn't make me as constipated. I can, I can get by with using very, very few laxatives with this one very rarely now. So that's, that's good. So that's, that's it for now. Um, if you need to take vitamins, take them. I'm, find, find something that's going to work for you. Otherwise, you're going to run into all sorts of problems. If your B12 gets low, you're not going to be absorbing iron and you're just going to be so tired. And, 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 and iron deficiency can get really, really serious. It can affect your heart. It, it can get that serious. Um, you know, you need your zinc for, for energy. Although I haven't really noticed that my energy levels have come up. I, I still get my, my mid-afternoon slump and I need a nap. But... I have fibromyalgia, so I, I, I probably can't fix my fibro with zinc. So that's it for now. If I, if I, if I find out any more uh, solid evidence for, you know, um, you know, should you take calcium and magnesium together? Should you take zinc and iron together? Is that okay? All that sort of thing, I'll, I'll update you. But for now, that's what I know for now. And that's all.